What drives a person to commit such heinous acts? This is the question that echoes in our minds as we unravel the chilling crime committed by Scarlett Blake. In July 2021, Jorge Martin Carreno, a 30-year-old man, was targeted by Blake as he walked home from a night out in Oxford. He was led to a secluded location and brutally attacked, ultimately leading to his death. The savage nature of this crime is horrifyingly mirrored in an event that transpired just four months earlier. Blake had live-streamed herself killing a family pet, a cat, in a manner most sadistic, uttering the words, Here we go, my little friend. Despite Blake's claim of leaving Mr. Martin Carreno unscathed, the evidence painted a different, darker picture. Courts are where justice meets truth. In the chilling trial of Scarlett Blake, prosecutors drew a disturbing connection between the sadistic killing of a cat and the gruesome murder of Jorge Martin Carreno. They argued that Blake's violent act against the family pet mirrored his disturbing interest in taking a life. Blake's history of violent behavior became a significant part of the narrative, underscoring his capacity for such a heinous act. Despite his denial of involvement in Mr. Martin Carreno's death, the evidence was overwhelming. The jury found him guilty of murder. The conviction serves as a chilling reminder of the devastating consequences of violent behavior. Every crime leaves a ripple effect. In the wake of this brutal act, the family of Jorge Martin Carreno was left devastated, grappling with the senseless loss of a loved one. The Oxford community too was profoundly affected. A once peaceful town was now cloaked in fear and anxiety, its residents feeling shaken and vulnerable. The murder left an indelible mark, a haunting sense of lost innocence and safety. Yet amidst this darkness, the resilience of this community shone through. Increased police patrols and the installation of CCTV cameras were measures taken to restore a sense of security. Vigils and memorials were held and unity was found in mutual support during this challenging time. The community's response to this tragedy reflects its resilience and unity. In the face of tragedy, society questions. The horrific incident in Oxford ignited a broader dialogue on violence and mental health it brought to light the urgent need to prioritize mental health, not as an afterthought, but as a fundamental aspect of societal well-being. The incident underscored the importance of providing robust resources and support to individuals wrestling with violent tendencies to not only rehabilitate, but also to prevent such heinous acts from recurring. The way society responds to such incidents is crucial in preventing future tragedies.